So this is a side that you normally don't get to see of the murder location of William Donald and Amy McSwan. Uh, normally everyone focuses on, on the outside, on 79 Gloucester Road. Uh, they often say it's where the KFC is, it's not, it's where the Lebanese place is. They always get it wrong. It's, but the front is covered over now, but this is the back. This is Stanhope News West. Um, so 79, 79 Gloucester Road is just behind there. This is the back. This is where he would have come out of. So his basement was just under there. Uh, unfortunately, I can't pin down exactly which of those doors it was, or even whether those buildings, whether those buildings are still original now. But it would have been uh, maybe one of those doors in the area there. John George Haig would have come out of here when he was uh, trying to murder. Um, when he put William Donald McSwan in the acid, was overcome with fumes, came out of here choking. It's also here that he would have had the, uh, the acid bottles delivered by Canning and Co. So they would have been delivered here by truck and then taken into there. So um, it's a pretty unassuming place. Even today it's quite quiet. Um, Gloucester Road just around there. It's really busy, really posh around there. Um, the Onslow Court Hotel is literally a two minute walk down that way. Uh, but this is the street now. Um, these would have been old... Um, like workshops, things like that. It's still partially workshops today with flats above. Uh, but this is where the back of the basement of uh, the murder location of John George Hager's, which very few people seem to show. I think it's the best bit, the most important bit.